Good morning. I hope everyone is doing very well on this Wednesday, um, April 8th, 2020. Uh, just a happy Wednesday to all of you. And just a little bit of an announcement on Friday. We technically have a day off from school. So today and tomorrow will be your last work days online. On Friday, you will have no work to complete. Also, on Monday of next week, um, you have a four-day weekend. So don't look for work this Friday or Monday, okay? Uh, we'll do our last bit of work tomorrow. I'll send you your last video. And then on Tuesday will be the next video that I send you. So let's go ahead and get started with our review for today. Okay. So yesterday, uh, we had this riddle for us to complete. Three McDonald's sodas equal 30, um, well, are worth 30 together. A McDonald's soda, two burgers are 20. A burger and some fries are nine. And a burger fries times a soda is how much? Well, let's break this down section by section. If three uh, McDonald's sodas are 30, that means each McDonald's soda has to be worth 10, right? So McDonald's soda 10, 10, 10, because it's 30 divided by three would be 10. So each soda is worth 10. So now when we move down here to the second row, we already know that this soda is worth 10, right? So 10 plus blank plus blank equals 20. Well, if we subtract 10 from 20 to eliminate that soda, we're left with 10 and two burgers that equal 10 would mean 10 divided by two. Uh, so each burger has to equal five. So it'd be 10 plus five, 15 plus five is 20. So we know that burgers are worth five, sodas are worth 10. All right, now here is where it gets, well, I mean, the answer is not 15. Um, and here's where it gets tricky. So a burger is five, and then we have fries and fries. But here's the thing about it. So these fries, how many fries do we have? We have one, two, three, four. So if this is five, this has to be six, seven, eight, and nine. Each fry is only worth one, all right? Because if you look at the last line, you don't have double fries like you have here. You only have one fry. So we have a burger, which is five, plus a fry, which is one, times a soda, which is 10. But we also have to follow the rules of PEMDAS. So the first thing that you need to do is multiply. Because parentheses, exponent, multiplication comes before addition. So we first multiply 10 times 1, and that gives us 10. And then we add 5, and that gives us 15. So unfortunately, no one got it right, but it's okay. It was a tough challenge. All right. So our do now for today is on this ball race game. This is the way it's going to work. You're going to choose a ball. We're going to watch the first 45 seconds of the race. Write down which ball you think is going to win in the comment section. And tomorrow we'll see if you do win. So let's go ahead and. All right. So. So we have five balls on the run right now. Green is in first with blue on the way back. Uh, we're going to watch the first 45 seconds of this uh, to see who you guys think will win. I mean, so far, green is taking a command and lead, but never count any ball out, right? All right, green is still in first place, even through the little tunnel. But red is now overtaken in second, used to be yellow in second, 43, 44. 45. Oh, snap. All right. So as you can see, you can't really count anything out. Now yellow is in first with red in second and green in third. Now you have to select one of these. Uh, don't forget that there. Oh, let's see. Who else is there? There's blue and orange on the back. So those are still in the race, although they may not seem like it. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, these are the five balls that you should have chosen from. Let me try that again. All right, so yeah, these are the five options. Green, red, yellow, orange, and blue. Go ahead and select one of them. And 
Uh, tomorrow we'll finish out the race and see who wins. All right. Okay, so uh, today we'll review electric circuits. Electric circuits are simple. We've worked with them hands-on. And so we need three things in an electric circuit for it to work. We first need a power source, which normally is a battery, conductors, which are wires, and a tester, which happens to be a light bulb. Now, the circuit needs to be completely closed in order for electricity to flow. If there's an open switch, we have an open circuit, and energy doesn't make it all the way through. Um, but if we have a closed switch, then we have a closed circuit and energy makes it all the way through. Uh, so open circuits are not allowing energy through, but closed circuits do. Okay, but what if it still doesn't work? What if you have all your components, um, but it's still not working? What would happen then? Well, there's some troubleshooting that we can do. First off, uh, you could have an open circuit without you knowing, so always make sure that you close your circuits. Secondly, maybe the power source is inserted, inserted wrong, or maybe your battery is out of electricity. That could happen as well. Or maybe you're not using the right conductors. Maybe instead of using metal, you could be using plastic or, wire, or cloth or uh, wood. So those things could also make our circuit be wrong. So, uh, some switches are very important in a circuit, some switches are not, right? So some switches could shut down the whole electric circuit. Some switches are only going to stop part of it. For example, in this right here, we have a switch, but this doesn't mean that the switch is going to stop everything. If this switch is open, energy can still make it through here, all the way down here, and all the way down here. This switch only affects these two little light bulbs. So if we close it, everything turns on. But if we open it, only LED 1, LED 4, and LED 3 will be able to turn on, not LED 2 nor LED 5, because energy wouldn't make it part of a complete circuit, which it needs to be. So remember the steps of solving these sort of problems. The first thing that you need to do is you need to label the parts of your circuit. The second thing you need to do is to highlight the first pathway, the third thing you need to do is to color the second pathway, and the lastly thing you need to do is to solve your problem. So remember, you label the parts of your circuit, and then you color your pathways, and then you can solve your problem. Okay? All right. So here in this case, we would first label our, our components, including the battery, the switch, the testers, and then we would highlight the different pathways that it would take. And then we would be able to answer the question. All right, don't forget your steps. So the things that you need to complete, sorry, my cat just walked right through my laptop. My apologies. So the things that you need to complete today are the following. First thing you need to complete in your packet, pages 67 through 76. Make sure you show all of your work. Then uh, complete the concept attainment quiz on page 77. Once you're done with that, go to Education Galaxy and complete module 5.6b. Thank you all who have been sending me your work. Um, I really appreciate it. And uh, please continue doing so, texting me all of your work. Also, uh, yesterday I did not know who Elisa Perez was. I realized today it was Gael. So congratulations Gael and William for getting star me on the Who's That Pokemon quiz. And hopefully we're gonna have some winners for tomorrow's ball race. All right, thank you for tuning in and we'll see you guys tomorrow.